I was playing in my bedroom with my imaginary friend Grobschnitt, who was born in a corn tree on the dark side of the sun. One potato, one potato, one potato, four. One potato, one potato, one potato, four. One potato, one potato, one potato, four. Hey up, Grobschnitt! Why don't we play at Captain Starlight and the Heroes of Justice? What's wrong, Oregon? Is one potato four becoming too repetitive for your taste? A bit, yeah. Then let's play your game. Your game will be so vibrantly fascinating. Oregon, keep the noise down. Your mum's trying to sleep. But, Dad, I'm only playing with Grobschnitt. Right. Well, do it outside and tidy up or your mum will have a flaming fit. What's going on? Is that son of yours talking to himself in his stupid voices? Oh, God, and he's only playing. Well, why can't he play outside like normal kids? Stop it, God, and you know he's not normal. I'm not going outside. I can't use my imagination out there. Don't imagination me, my lad. Now get out! The outside world. What a dump. There was nothing to do, no one to play with. Except for the other kids. But I wasn't like the other kids. Look, Grobschnitt, there's a pack of kids over there. Do you reckon they'll play with me? Well, if Daddy says so, we mustn't upset Daddy. There's that Scott Brown from across the road. He's got loads of toy lorries. If you want to play with someone who eats dog food, go ahead. Hello. Who are you? I'm Oregon. You what? <laughs> All right, Oregon. What team do you support? Oh, I don't know. Mars United. That's a Puffs team. Have you ever pulled a worm's head off? No, but I can fly faster than a speeding bullet. And I can pluck the stars from the firmament and roll them along the floor like marbles. Less Nicky's trousers. Getting on with the outsiders wasn't going to be as easy as I thought. So at Grobschnitt's suggestion, I went to see my grandmother. She was bound to give me some good advice. We were always outside when we were little. You could leave your door wide open and nobody would ever steal anything. Except the door. They took the door. And the walls. We kept the roof, though. We had the finest roof in Fairdale. Yeah, but when you went outside, what did you do? We used to play in the street. <coughs> yes, the street. Of course, there were no cars in them days. <coughs> Only dogs, but we used to ride around on them all the same. Yeah, go on. And we would wear each other's dresses and roll around in mucky puddles until we were soaking wet. <coughs> <coughs> Look at <coughs> it. <coughs> <coughs> Oregon, you dirty scruff. Come on, you two. Let's go and play hot slag heap. It was no use. All my attempts to gain friends seemed doomed to failure. But my father had spoken. If Jim Callahan's so brilliant, why doesn't he come down here and empty the dustbins? And I knew I had to earn his respect. Christ almighty! So with Grobschnitt's help, I set to work on my new project. Day and night I toiled through all kinds of hardship. I poured all my imagination into it, every ounce of fantasy I could muster. It was the best thing I had ever made. Christ almighty, what in God's name is it? It's a time machine. You what? A time machine. I hardly believe that. It's true. We can go anywhere and any when you like. Back to the lost world of 600 million BC when Fairdale was ruled by dinosaurs. Or forward to the 31st century when people will be made out of plastic and powered by lasers. We can do anything. You stupid ninny. Time machines don't exist. Allow me to demonstrate. Is that it? Excuse me, good Sir Scott. What year is this? Right. Uh, uh, Grubschnitt! 
Help me! What? Oh, uh, hang on a sec. <laughs> Leave me alone! It was no good. No matter what I tried to do, the kids wouldn't like me. And I knew exactly why. Me dad were right. Me imagination's always getting me into trouble. Don't look at me. Well, I've had enough. From now on, I'm not going to use my imagination ever again. Wait a minute, Oregon. Let's not be hasty. Ah! What's happening? But, Oregon, I'm your only friend. Help me! And that was that. But without my imagination, what was there to do? All I could manage was to lie there in bed all day. What's wrong, love? Do you want some soup? Oh, Oregon, I can't take it. <laughs> I felt so alone, worthless and ashamed. Everything I touched turned to a horrible, mushy dust. But still, I persisted in my lack of originality. Do you know who you remind me of? Your granddad. He hated women, but he was a lovely man. Every time something creative came into my head, I would quash it immediately and think upon the vast, grey nothingness of eternity. You'll never make friends with anyone just lying around in bed all day, you lazy beggar. You're a total failure. 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 But I knew it couldn't last. Suppressing my imagination only made it stronger. Nothing could prevent the blossoming of my dark sickness. I am Captain Darkness, the arbiter of retribution. Captain Darkness, my arms are knives, my teeth are worms, my hair a solid shaft of burning red silver. Captain Darkness, prostrate thyselves as I slide my blade of vengeance through thy murky flesh. Be my friend, be my friend. It's Captain Darkness! Leggy! Cretins, there is no escape. I shall stroke you till you bleed. I shall kiss you till your skin curls. I shall clasp you to my breast till your bones crumble. And I shall never let you go. Play with me! Play with me! You useless fool, Oregon! Look what you've done to the roof! Stop picking on him, Gordon. He's only little. Be my friend! <laughs> what are we gonna do? Use your imagination! Yeah? There are three of us and only one of him. Now come on, imagine yourself a weapon! <laughs> But I haven't got an imagination. Be my friend! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! You cannot stop me. I can fly faster than a speeding bullet. I can pluck the stars from the firmament and swallow them like bees! Oh yeah? Well, swallow this! My friend. What? 
What happened? I think you let your imagination run away with you. Hey, ah. Oh. Thanks. I was wrong to underestimate the other children. Oh, look at him with the other kids. Just because they liked playing football outdoors instead of making paper spaceships in their bedrooms. On me head, Grobschnit. That didn't mean they weren't as good or as clever as me. Oh, you spazzy-legged fool. Come on. And I learned to integrate with them. Oh. To be normal, just like them. Here you go. No, to me, to me. To play the games that they played. Yeah. And become a happy, productive member of society. Come on, kick it who didn't need to resort to using his stupid imagination all the time. Get in there! Everything was happy now. Uh, over here! Everything was normal. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's his son, kick him! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.